The following program has been generously funded by the Patterson Foundation. Welcome to this episode of This Book is Cool. We know our audience is full of children, educators, parents, and other people who enjoy reading. And today, do we have a treat for you. It's a book called Rap-A-Tap-Tap. It was written and illustrated by Leo and Diane Dillon. And we have a special guest who's with us today who's going to tell us some of the reasons why this book is cool. Welcome, Kelly. Hi, Beth. Thanks for having me. We are so glad to have you here today. I know that you are familiar with this book, Rap a Tap Tap. Can you tell me some of the reasons why you think this book is cool? Oh, there are so many reasons, Beth. I wrote them down. One, this book is based on a real person, Bill Bojangles Robinson. He brought so much joy with his tap moves. Kelly, I remember a song that's called Mr. Bojangles Dance. Yes. And I think that song was also written about Bill Robinson. He must have been really famous. He was famous from his outstanding tap moves. Some people thought he was the best in the world. Wow. Can you imagine being the best in the world at anything? That must feel pretty special. That's true. They say GOAT, greatest of all time. I've heard that before. Oh, G-O-A-T. So we could say that Mr. Bojangles was the GOAT of tap dancing, greatest of all time. Great. That's exactly right. Another thing, listen to the title, Rap a Tap Tap. It makes me think of tap dancing. One of the things that I love about the book is that they repeat that phrase a lot. Rap-a-tap-tap, yes. tap. what do you think of that? And they s repeat it many, many times, so it almost sounds like a tap dance. It does. And Beth, here's a little treat for you. I love tap dancing. It's great exercise. I started when I was a young girl, and I'm doing it still today. Really? Now, where do you tap dance? Well, you can take classes, but what I do now, I take it right in my living room, and I put my socks on, and I move my feet around to make different rhythms. Rap a tap tap. What do you think of that? I think that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for sharing with us the reasons why you think this book, Rap a tap tap, is cool. We really appreciate you spending time with us, Kelly. Thank you. And Red, reading is the key to succeeding. You are right, my friend. Reading is the key to succeeding. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That was fun, getting a chance to visit with Kelly. I love that she's a tap dancer. She started when she was a little girl and she's still tap dancing. You might be encouraged or, or be enthusiastic about tap dancing once you read this book. There's another cool thing about this book I wanna share with you. There are great words for our word bank in the book, Rap a Tap Tap. It includes many words that are great additions to our word bank. One of the words in the book Rap a Tap Tap is the word pleasure. Pleasure means that something is making you feel happy. So pleasure means happy. One of the other cool words for our word bank is dance. I know many of you already know that word dance because when you hear music, you might get a feeling inside and start to move your body. That's what dance means. Dance means to express an emotion or a feeling 
through movement. We also have a word, briefly. And I wish I could say that word even faster. Briefly means a short period of time. So maybe I could try to say briefly, really short. Another word is the word clatter. And clatter appears in the book because it describes a sound. Clatter means the noise that two hard objects make when they hit against each other. So in tap dancing, we hear clatter when the shoes hit the pavement. One of our other words for our word bank is the word rhythms. Rhythms mean a pattern of sounds. So if I clapped my hands, that's one kind of rhythm. Or I could clap in a different way. And that's a different rhythm. And the last word for our word bank from the book Rap-A-Tap-Tap is the word passion. And passion is something that we all feel when we encounter something that we really like. Passion means a powerful feeling. So Mr. Bojangles had a passion for tap dancing. Now, you might want to try tap dancing yourself, and that would be a great activity for this week. I have something to show you. I don't have any tap shoes at home, but I've made some tap shoes by taping coins to the bottom of my shoes. And you can do that very same thing. You can tape coins to the bottom of your shoe, and then when you tap them, it makes a tapping sound. Now, another cool thing to remember is that you don't have to have tap shoes. Kelly even told us that she tap dances in her socks in her living room. So if this book encourages you to try dancing, you can try to make your own tap shoes or you can try dancing without them. We hope that you will take a picture of yourself dancing and send it to us at connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. Or, if you have a book that you think is really cool, we hope that you'll record your own episode of This Book is Cool and send it to us. All you need to do is tell us why you think the book is cool, give us a few words for our word bank, and if there's some cool activity that you'd like to recommend, we'd like to hear. Thank you so much for being with us for this episode of This Book is Cool. I hope you'll join us again soon. Bye-bye.